Hi, I got a question about audio tracks and where do you find the WAV files after that? So let's look at that. I have an initialized song here and uh, we're going to record the Oasis and the virus onto uh, different tracks. Also coming through the Oasis is my voice. So we'll do something a little silly. To record audio tracks, you have to check the multi-record checkbox, even to record one audio track because MIDI is the default. So let's go to the audio track mixer. We've got the checkbox checked. And the Oasis is SPDIF to the back and the virus is going into inputs one and two. Now I'm gonna stereo pair tracks one and two and three and four and balance them so that when I go left, the right is automatic. And then back to the inputs, there's the Oasis SPDIF and input one and two where the virus is, that's the default setting. So whatever you plug in there, it'll be recorded. Um, the other page is the preference page, and this is where you set your bit depth. So I'm going for 24 bit because it's streaming right to disc. This is also where your metronome volume is. So if you're recording left, right inputs, you'll want to set that metronome down to zero, but uh, I'm not recording left, right inputs. I want to hear it. So uh, the other thing is this grade area. This is where the level meters will appear, but to make those appear, you got to go to the audio track mixer and arm the tracks, set them all to record. I, I'm recording four tracks, so there they are set to record. I go back to preferences and there are the levels. So looks like we're ready to go. Let's, let's try it. From across the void, she came. Space Girl. And I'll set my voice back to zero there. So I don't want to hear that. And I should probably stop recording. So let's check and see if this recorded. Let's go to track edit. There's the view of the tracks. Oh, but to hear them, we have to go back to the tracks, the audio uh, track mixer page and uh, make sure these records are off. They now have to be set to play. So let's go. From across the void, there we go. She came, Space Girl. All right, so those tracks are there. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save the song. Um, what I usually do is, I save, let's go to disc mode, and I'm going to go to um, songs. Let's see, where are my songs at? Up here. And I'm going to set a little uh, directory with uh, the utility. So I'm going to call it, um, let's see, create directory. And we'll just say space. So, so I know where it's at. Okay. Now I open up space and I'm going to save just the sequence here because I don't I don't need the program so so space girl okay and let's speed this up all right uh, it took a little while because it has audio with it and it uh, the reason I put it in a directory is because it also creates an audio folder so that is where you find the audio I open that up and there's the wave from across the void, she came. So there's that. Go up. Uh, and here's the track for... 
the virus. So there we got them. Now you can, uh, now that we're in disk, you can go to utility and you can just select copy and you could put it onto your USB drive and that'll play in your computer. So you just copy to the USB drive. Um, so I'm not gonna do that right now. The other thing you can do is you can, uh, let's see, let me load it. So by load it, I'm going to RAM. So that was track the three, let's track four, open, load it. Track one, open, load it. And up, this is the stereo, you know, the right side. So I've loaded all these tracks to RAM where they'll be uh, changed into 16-bit, but that's when you can access them from the sampler. So uh, let's, first of all, let's check this multi-sample. We've got a stereo multi-sample and I'm gonna select, these will stereo pair automatic. Oh, let's see, one and two, yeah. So here's, Three and four first, because I did it backwards. And so if I play that, there, the sampler. It's in the sampler now. So you can actually assign audio tracks to different keys. Um, this isn't supposed to be about sampling, but um, you'll see the indexes. There's usually eight. So here, here's eight. I hate dealing with eight, because if you go to... Um, like the next index, the keys are already set and you can't move things around yet. So what I do is uh, I just cut and I start with one and I set my keys. So my top key on this one, let's set it there. And actually I'm gonna create one more zone and the bottom key is the top key of, you know, where, where the other zone left off. So now I'm just going to set top keys for it. And for samples, these, these should be paired. Let's see. Let's see what's in there. That's down here. And then we'll put Space Girl on the other one. Oh, yeah. From across the void. So it would be this. From across the void. But let's say I want to start it at C. So let's make it C. And that'll be the original key. And... From across the void, she came. Space girl. So you get it. You can, but if you want, you can assign uh, stereo music tracks to every single key. And uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> something interesting there. So hope that helps.